Hi folks, I thought I'd do a tap along for the blog today on happiness and the reasons that we don't allow ourselves to be happy. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about happy recently and, and what it means and, and why we don't allow ourselves to feel that when often we could. And you know, some of it's society's training, some of it's family's training, some of it's rules that we've created for ourselves. You know, one of those is that you know, it has to, we have to work hard to deserve things, uh, that life is a struggle, all sorts of things that uh, we carry around with us. So I thought we could do some tapping on that. Okay, tapping mostly on the karate point. I'll talk you through the other points if we get round to them. So even though I really want to be happy, well, part of me does anyway. And there may some be some parts of me that really aren't sure that's a good idea or that I'm allowed or that it's even possible. And I deeply and completely love and accept all parts of me. Even though I really do want to be happy, but it seems like a struggle and I never quite get there. It's always just out of reach and I deeply and completely love and accept myself and whoever it was that taught me happiness is always out of reach. Even though I really do want to be happy and sometimes I am, and I can't hold it. I'm okay anyway. I really want to be happy. Well, most of me does anyway. I really want to be happy. I really want to be happy. At least I think I do. And it all seems like such hard work. And it always seems like it's just out of reach. And I'm tired of striving and pushing and struggling. And I'm okay anyway. Even though I touch happiness many times a day and I don't always recognize that I'm happy. I'm okay. Even though I spend a lot of time looking out there for happiness, for the next thing or the next person that will allow me to be happy. I choose to give myself permission to focus on those small bits of happiness that come to me day by day. And I deeply and completely Love and forgive and accept myself. Even though I do want to be happy, I'm open to the possibility that it could be much easier than I think. Some of it's about noticing when I am happy. Some of it's about retraining my brain to recognise when I'm happy. Some of it's retraining me to be present in the moment because it's in this moment that I touch the happiness. I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself and all those who help me create that strange notion of happiness that I've acquired. 
And even though I do want to be happy, I'm open to the possibility that I'm allowed to be happy, that it's what I'm here for, to actually learn how to be happy in the moment and how to reconnect myself to myself and to the universe because that's where happiness is. And I'm choosing to recognize the times I lose connection with myself and lose connection with the universe. Because when I notice it, then I can tap to do something about it and plug back into the happiness. And I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself and everyone involved with my happiness story, maybe. Even though I do want to be happy, and I didn't think it was possible, I am open to the possibility that it's easier than I ever thought it could be and that I can start it right now. I can focus on my body. Really feel into it. Anchor my feet to the earth. Lift my head to the sky. Allow the universal and the earth energy to flow through me. Really allow myself to be present in this moment. It's all I have. Giving myself permission to enjoy it. And to take those small moments of happiness as they appear and expand them, focus on them, gather more of them until more of my life is happy. Because the happier I am, the brighter I shine and the more light I shine in the world, the more I invite other people to shine with me. And that's the best gift I can give. And I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself and everyone else involved. My happiness story has been rewritten. I'm choosing to focus on the times I am happy. The many times I touch happiness, even if it's for a brief instant. And I choose to focus on it and grow it, expand it and share it. That's what I'm here for. Have a great week. Enjoy your tapping. And I'd love to hear about the happiness that you suddenly notice popping up in your life. Because I guarantee when you're focusing on happiness, that's what your subconscious will be looking to show you. Just like when you're thinking of buying a particular brand of car, your subconscious flags up all of those cars along the road. You never knew there were that many. It's the same with happiness. When you start to focus on it, your subconscious knows you're interested. And it starts to refocus you into it. So have a happy week and keep tapping. Bye.